everyone. Hello. This is Bilge. This is Tomo. And today we are in our kitchen because we're going to make yogurt. Uh, what is famous from Turkey? I would say yogurt, but many people will say Greek yogurt. The chobani. We... <laughs> what? Chobani is uh, Turkish. Um, chobani is selling as Greek yogurt. That's what I mean. But the, own, the guy who created it is Turkish. Anyway, so there's this Turkish yogurt uh, being Greek yogurt. Anyway, we love yogurt. Turkish people love yogurt. So we, I wanted to have natural homemade yogurt at home for Kai. That's how I started to make yogurt at home. And I didn't know it's actually super easy. Um, my mom always made home made homemade yogurt. Um, so this was finally the time for me. And Tomo, did you know how to make yogurt before? Yeah, my mom always made yogurt herself. Uh, you, have, you need a culture, the starter, and then the milk. But you, when you were at home, your mom was also making yogurt? Yes. No, yes. I, I didn't know. I mean, I know nowadays when, I, we, when we visit them, I see the yogurt at home, but okay. So yeah, apparently we both have seen homemade natural yogurt. So it's only natural for us to make yogurt at home. Ta -da. The end result will look like this. I use small jars that I save from Kai's um, snacks. We buy sometimes this ready-made food for Kai when we travel. It's handy, it's easy, and we don't throw them away. We, we keep these jars to put yogurt in it. And um, there are two important ingredients for homemade yogurt. One, as Tomo mentioned, the culture, uh, yogurt culture, which can be previously made yogurt, that you can use it to make your next yogurt. And number two, is um, raw milk, right? And it's not easy to get raw milk normally because we are all used to shop from supermarkets. I did try <laughs> with the bio milk from supermarket. It didn't work to make yogurt, so we had to look for raw milk. And luckily in Switzerland, there are a lot of farms where you can go and buy your raw milk. Yeah, we will show you how we visited the farm and got some milk. Let's start! <laughs> you could be a bit more like, yay! <laughs> Let's, Let's <start>. go! <laughs> and here's the milk we bought from the farm. We bought I think, nearly three liters, which we didn't plan, so we need a big pot. We will boil all of it. Maybe I'm not going to use the, all of the milk. I might uh, keep aside to make some cakes. Uh, but we need to boil all of it because it's raw, right? Oops. There's a lot of fat in it. This is what I like about the raw milk. I mean, I wouldn't necessarily like the fat in the milk myself, but it's great for cotton. I would keep it in a bit higher than the middle um, strength. We have induction stove, um, whatever you have, just use the bit more than middle strength of the, of the heat. Um, so what we will do now, we will just wait until it boils. We will let it boil a little bit longer, like in another two minutes, and then we will let it cool down. We need to see um, when it comes to 42 to 48 degrees, between 42 to 48 uh, Celsius degrees, then we can start our culturing step. There are different ways to know the degree of the, um, of the milk. One is, is you can use a tool, which we have, we are going to use that tool. But you can also do a traditional way, use your finger. My mom has an explanation for it. it you will feel a little bit tingling burning. <laughs> or not, you know, you won't, it won't burn, but it will feel like a little bit burning. So that's her style. Of course, uh, there is no science to it, so I prefer to stick to the tool. Um, my finger is not as sensitive as hers. 
Now we will wait and see when it's ready. Then we will start our culturing. Don't forget to stir it from time to time so it doesn't burn at the bottom. And what I do is I leave the wooden uh, spoon here on the top so it doesn't flow out. I think it's gonna take around 15 to 20 minutes. Just have an eye on it and keep stirring. The milk is boiling, it's ready, I'm gonna stop cooking it. And then we have to wait until it gets colder to for between 42 and 48 degrees. And I will be measuring with this tool which we bought from Japan. Tom, so what are you doing? Picking the butter part of the As the milk cools down, it forms this uh, fatty layer on top. And this is basically a butter. We feed Kai with this butter in the morning. He loves it. In Turkish, it's called kaymak. Yes, correct. Well done. It's very, very soft, very milky butter. Super tasty, especially when you mix honey. Yeah. That's it. Thank you for picking it up with uh, chopsticks. It's the best tool in the world. <laughs> Let's check if the temperature of the milk is good enough to do the culture part. It's I think going to be like 44 degrees, which is perfect. As I said, it should be between 42 and 48. Slow down, yeah, it's almost 44. Perfect. So, next step is uh, putting the existing yogurt into the milk. And how I'm doing it for each one liter, I'm going to add two scoops of yogurt. do it in this we're gonna add some milk in it and dilute it diluting the yogurt with milk quite um, still dense very yogurty, even though we added milk. I will add a bit more milk. Mix with the existing yogurt. Now it's ready to mix it in. I'll slowly put the mixture in. And then we need to stir it very well. Airing it a little bit helps. At this temperature, the culture needs to be activated and the, yolk, the milk becomes yogurt. And for that, we need to put it in somewhere warm overnight. Um, you can, if you're making it in one pot, you can um, wrap the <laughs> Wrap the pot with a cloth to keep it warm overnight. But how I'm doing it, I'm going to put each uh, jar a little bit of this yogurt or milk to the yogurt and we'll keep them in the microwave. Not that the microwave <laughs> will work, but it will keep it in a, in a warmer temperature overnight. And in the morning, we should have some yogurt. jar process, jarring process. I'm using usually one big jar, which is for us, me and Tomo, to use it. And the little jars are for Kai. He can eat daily or every two or three days, one jar. 
he loves yogurt so it helps especially on the days when he's not super hungry or he doesn't want to eat what we cook and I offer him some yogurt that helps him to get used to um, uh, feel the food and start eating again so we put the yogurt to be in the jars now the next step is putting them in the or oven. You can use your oven. As I said, if it's only one pot, you can just wrap the pot with some nice cloth. I think as the microwave is quite small, the warmth of the jars will keep it in, in a nice temperature till the morning. And you will see in the morning how they turn out. I think it has been over many times. We managed to ruin it maybe two or three times. <laughs> so fingers crossed this will work. See you in the morning. Can I get it? So it's the morning and we can uh, check. Uh, yeah. yeah, we can check the jars. Uh, uh, <laughs> so it looks Burda like yogurt. Burda yogurt. It's a Burda success. Yogurt. We managed to make yogurt out of um, two and a half liters of milk. And Kai will enjoy it probably. Burda from tomorrow on because it needs to wait in the fridge for for a day you don't eat for a day and the next day you can start eating um, I leave the jars open I don't close the lids mm -hmm. I don't close the lids of the jars uh, it's up to you, you can also close it after a while um, if you see that the top is getting a little bit um, more um, yellowish by the time you can just remove the top and keep eating it. It's good. Is it so? I eat So yeah, this is how we make natural yogurt, homemade yogurt at home. Please try if you have any questions. Let us know in the comments and um, yeah, I hope it's a success for you too. After this uh, video, you can continue watching our farm visit and don't forget to subscribe our channel. It means a lot to us if you support us. Yeah. <laughs> and like this video, subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Don't worry, you should say thank you, bye too. Thank you, bye. bye, -bye. Thank you, bye. 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 You can see the yogurt is quite thick. Bye. 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 Bye.